Welcome to Superstitions, Traditions, and Definitions. I'm Kristen. And I'm Carol. And today is Am I the Asshole? No way. edition. All right. Is it a good one? Mm-hmm. Are you going to piss me off with it? Mm-hmm. No? It's just a good one? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, it's just a good one. All right. Let's hear it. All right. <laughs> Am I the asshole for creating and selling a cosmetic cream to women to improve the aging process and reduce their stress? Probably not the asshole, but no, but there's a reason you picked this. So Mm -hmm. let's find out. All right. Okay. I was well known for my potions, as was my mother. When she was executed for the murder of my father, I was only 13. Wow. To survive at that age without my parents or a husband, I had to find a way to make a living. I was well versed in herbs and their benefits and eventually opened a successful apothecary in Rome. Rome in the 1600s was a confining place for a married woman. Men viewed their wives as property, someone to rule over, beat, and rape. The government's view of women was the same. In a loveless, abusive marriage, these women were stuck. The only way out was death. And for nearly two decades, I assisted hundreds of women with ensuring the death required to escape their marriage was not theirs. Gotcha. Okay. My most popular ointment, Aquatavana, prevented wrinkles when used on the woman's face and bruises when used in the men's meal. Four doses was all it took to kill him. My mixture of arsenic, lead, and belladonna was odorless and tasteless. The first dose left the man with symptoms similar to that of a common cold. The second triggered vomiting and diarrhea. The third left the man knocking on death's door, and the fourth brought peace to both. Oh, God. My clientele was discreet and appreciative. I designed the bottles to blend with other toiletries and included a picture of St. Nicholas for good measure. I even sold an antidote, vinegar and lemon juice concoction, though few wanted it. Everything was going well for everyone until one woman had a change of heart. Rather than using the antidote, she begged her husband not to finish his soup. He beat the reason she protested his finishing the meal out of her. She had poisoned it. (sighs) Then beat her until she told him where she got the poison. Me. My staff and I were arrested, as were some of my lower class clients. Our trials began in 1658, and of course we were all executed. Wow. I've heard of this. Yeah. Interesting. Julia Tafana. Aqua Tafana. Aqua Tafana. Well, I mean, she provided a service, I suppose. She did. I mean, there wasn't any other option. Somebody had died to get out of that. True enough. Might as well be the man that's going to beat you. Yeah. It's too bad that girl had her change of heart. Yeah. Brought everybody down. Yeah. Was she executed too? No. No? No, she didn't kill him. She tried to. She did. He forgave her. After he beat the shit out of her? Mm -hmm. What a doll. Yeah. Yes. Sounds like a sweetheart. How nice. Mm -hmm. Um, Nobility used her services. Noble women used her services. To kill off their Mm -hmm. husbands so they they could get inheritance. Yeah. Sometimes fathers and brothers. The naughty women. Mm -hmm. The ones that just wanted the money. One of which was executed but didn't tell how she came about just the yeah I poisoned my dad and my brothers because I wanted everything to myself why would you admit such a thing 
I would take that shit. Poor planning. I would, Poor planning, I, I, probably. I, well, they got to prove it. Well, I mean, it looked suspicious when her entire family died at one time. She's still standing. Well, she didn't eat the poison. Mm-hmm. Common sense. Mm-hmm. She was smarter than the rest of them. She was the poisoner. Well, I know, <laughs> but that's what I mean. Oh, mercy. Okay, well, that's that's interesting. I'm going to... I don't, I don't know. She's probably the asshole, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, probably she had an antidote. (laughs) So, okay. If he didn't want to die, he would have drank some vinegar, lemon juice, been fine. Yeah. He should have known that. He should have known better. He's not feeling well. Uh -uh. Vinegar and lemon juice. That's right. Slug it back. That's all you need. Um, I was going to say something brilliant. I bet. And then it ran off. Seeped right out your ear. It did. My goodness. I was going to say something pertinent to what we were discussing about the vinegar and lemon juice and this whole, and it left me. Um, there is theory Mm-hmm. That she escaped capture, Julia Tavana, mm-hmm. and found sanctuary at a convent where she lived out the remaining of her days. Do we think that's true, or do you think that they looked for her? I don't know. What I know is there was a poisoning ring of women mm-hmm. tried. And executed in 1658. How were they executed? Were they poisoned? No, they were hung. Oh, yeah. In Italy, which would have been the time of her. Mm -hmm. She was born. There's questions as to whether or not she was truly involved because she would have been only 13 they know that she was a ointment maker they know that she ran a successful apothecary that covered a good chunk of Italy right um, and that she had several employees are they wondering why would she have to poison anybody if she was successful? They're wondering whether or not this ring of women that was executed in 1658 could have been her ring. Mm-hmm. Because of if she really could have been the one in charge. They know she was involved. Right. They know that her mother, well, they know that a woman they believe was her mother Mm -hmm. poisoned her husband. Right. And was executed. Uh, But she was only 13 when that happened. Right. And then this. Are they thinking she's too young to have done this? Yes. But if you have the knowledge, you well, have the knowledge. Well, it's like saying Lizzie Borden didn't murder her family because she's a woman. And Lizzie Borden was acquitted. Well, she was acquitted by a jury of men who didn't think who a didn't woman. Think she was, yeah. A woman could a have woman done such a thing. A woman could do that. She's so too little. I'm gonna delicate. guess that a 13-year-old girl could probably have done this if... Yeah. Yeah, it was Someone a, went to her and said, hey, I know you make all this other I know your stuff. mama. I know your mama. <laughs> I know you make all this other stuff. Could you make me a poison, maybe? And she'd yeah. be like, oh, yeah, here, let's come in back. Mm-hmm. Interesting. There's a couple ways to go with that. There was. Hmm. And I don't know. She, she, she helped them kill these people off, so she's probably the asshole. But I just don't feel it deep down that she's the asshole. I feel like there was no option mm-hmm. at the time. Women were property. They had no voice. They could be beaten. They were to do exactly as their husbands were told. They didn't even get to pick their husband. No. Daddy picked husband for them, and they were told, you're going to marry this dude. Yep. So, 
it's not like there was a whole lot of love happening in no. Italy in the 1600s and women. I mean, I suppose it it could happen. If yeah, you, I'm sure. You know, but I'm sure there are chances, arranged marriages. Chances are good that you know he wasn't a, right. a stellar fella. Right. I mean, historically, there are a lot of arranged marriages that ended up happy and in love and mm-hmm. life is good. And there were a lot that didn't. And this concoction, she, her ointment, um, she's, whenever the ring was arrested, mm-hmm. admitted to selling over 600 bottles oh, wow. of this stuff. Um, but it looked like a natural death. Sure. Of so you don't any know. common ailment of the time, dysentery or cholera, or I don't know what was running around in the 1600s, but um, that's what it looked like. And just a few drops. Nice. Four times, and they were gone. Okay. And if you had a change of heart, vinegar and lemon juice, and they'd be just fine. Or you've got to open your mouth and, and and blow the whole works. Right. I mean, I would, if I had a change of heart and I was this, this, you know, this woman has to like feel tremendous guilt knowing that a hundred women are dead because she opened her mouth. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they, I mean, he was beating it out of her and yeah, dude, let him drink his soup. Come yeah. on. He was yeah. hungry. Yeah, he was. Let him have a soup. I take it back. Please finish it. We'll talk when you're done. Yes. I was just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't think it was warm enough. I forgot to put carrots in it. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, you can come so up with a lot anything. of things. Yeah. Um, this was a huge ordeal. Mm-hmm. And was known all over the world by the time... Everything was said and done. Mozart, who lived 100 years later. Mm -hmm. Mozart, they don't really know why Mozart died. He died young at 35 after an illness that had extended over three or four months. They Mm -hmm. believe probably renal failure, some kind of genetic kidney disease. Um, But Mozart started... The rumor when he got sick that somebody had poisoned him with aqua tifana. Really? Did he have any grounds for thinking this or just? No. Okay. No, I mean, there were no like death threats or anything. Um, there was a rival, not really a rival, there was a fellow composer mm-hmm. named Antonio Salarelli. Um, and people, like the general public, tried to blame him for poisoning Mozart. Like, really hurt his feelings. Oh, I bet. <laughs> um, he actually, like, there are published articles where he is trying to defend himself, saying, I, I had nothing against him. He was a friend of mine. We worked together. Yeah. I didn't kill him. Uh, but. No, there's no proof that Mozart was even poisoned. It was just something he suspected because he got sick one day and never got better. And it lasted three months before he died. Okay. Um, From like an August to December or something in 1791. His gut feeling. Yeah. So he hadn't been sick before. And then he gets sick and he's not getting better. And clearly somebody was trying to do him in. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, he, nobody could tell him what was wrong. He'd gone to doctors and not that, you know, medicine was real knowledgeable in 1790, but right. um, He started his own rumor and it is actually reported. So it's recorded in some history that he was poisoned, died of poisoning, but Really? There's no scientific evidence or medical evidence that he was. It looks more like renal failure. I wonder how we... I don't know. I wonder how it was reported two different ways, especially since it was 100 years after her. I mean, you know, did she 
leave her recipe out there in, in the public? I'm sure. It was a huge ring. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there were people involved, women involved in making it that she had shared the recipe with that Oh, so she didn't just she didn't out. just make it. She had Well, she I, had, I, I I picture the people that work for her to be like distribution, mm-mm. you know. Oh, okay. No. So I suppose it could have found its way to Austria. The whole ordeal, the Aquasafana, the name like traveled through history forever. There were whispers of being poisoned by Aquatafana for hundreds of years right. after this happened. It was... Anybody dies, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a young person dying of some weird ailment that strikes and you're dead in three days, four days. I mean, I suppose. Mm-hmm. It was odorless. It was tasteless. It mimicked already naturally occurring illnesses so it was practically untraceable okay there's no telling how many were really poisoned mm-hmm. there's also no telling i mean it's the 1600s there's no telling that <laughs> some of the 600 yeah, yeah. <laughs> dysentery yeah. Probably well, it interior. probably traveled throughout mm-hmm. the region as well, not just, you know. Oh, yeah, she had just a, She had apothecaries set up in at least four different cities. Okay. Like she she was Happy had an in. enterprise. She knew what she was doing and had the financial, the business sense to keep it going and make it successful gotcha and then possibly go hide at a convent for refuge do you suppose she made it to the convent or do you suppose she was hung I don't know I think it's weird that there's no record there's a record of counts there's a record of trial there's all of these records but nobody is named Sure. That is weird. They were women. It didn't yeah. matter what their name was. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I suppose that's true. So, they were women. Just some chick. T- uh-huh. Some crazy Just witch. Some, some chick that we're going to go hang over mm-hmm. here. Because people ended up dead. Yeah. Who should have known better? Yeah. Don't beat a girl. Yeah. She'll poison you to death. That's all right. Mm-hmm. And other women are going to help her. Yep. Oh. And what are you going to do about it? Ha, ha, ha. Don't eat exactly. your soup. And she did this Watch out for that almost 20 years. Sandwich. Oh, no kidding. It went that long. Yes. Almost 20 years. Interesting. Before getting caught. Like, they were serious. <laughs> they had it, it going on. It was sold as a perfume. It was called Aqua Tafana. Uh, and sometimes was called uh, Manna of St. Nicholas. The Manna of St. Nicholas. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, okay. Um, pretty little bottle that could of sit course. out on the bedside table or wherever you kept your toiletries in the 1600s. Camouflage. And then I was wondering, like, what toiletries did they have in the 1600s? Peptide eye cream. Um, Perfume. That's about all I could think of. That's about but all I could They probably had cute little it. bottles. I and it's a bottle that her husband wouldn't have cared about, right. wouldn't have looked at, and right. probably didn't have the little skull and crossbones poison symbol on it. That would have been a giveaway. It might have been a giveaway. Then he would have known. Don't eat the bottle. Don't eat the bottle. Right. Now, if but found St. It in the Nicholas. Kitchen, mm, that looks nice. And it, yeah, it would look nice. It would look protected like Protected by a saint. Yes. And it's manna. Manna from him. We all know manna from heaven is a blessing. It is. And and it's helpful. It and, is. And there Kept are no people alive for a bad things that can go on with it. So mm-hmm. they just disguised that stuff all over the place, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Smart. Mm-hmm. Smart. It's too bad they uh, got caught like they did. I know. 
I know that could have gone on forever. Mozart really could have been poisoned by and, and, and maybe he was by a stray bottle that was left out <laughs> there in a hundred years in 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 society. Arsenic lead belladonna. You shouldn't I even mean, just. I'm thinking any one of those things will kill you by itself. Right. But, you know, if you ingest Let's just them. make sure. Just make okay. sure. Okay. This just made it go faster, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's arsenic poisoning. A couple of drops here and there. That's a slow... Yeah. Death. Over, I mean, you know, like arsenic and old lace. That's an old movie. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. I didn't figure. No. <laughs> but, I mean, that's that's the premise of it is that these... Two old ladies are killing off people with arsenic. Good for them. I mean, you know. Or not. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's I nice think it, to kill people. I think but. it was that they had a boarding house. And they, they thought they were putting people out of their misery. No, they didn't. They were getting insurance on them, I'm sure. And collecting well, that 12 I mean, pounds when they died. Well, I mean, you know, that, that has happened a lot in history. It has. People end up missing and... From boarding houses, sure. Hotels in the middle of nowhere, and right? Their bodies are found buried in the backyard. Ten years, probably later. just accidentally got mm -hmm. there. I bet they fell down and just had dirt, you know, blow over them and I'm stuff. Sure. It probably wasn't anything, you know, nefarious. Oh, there are some good nefarious stories about boarding houses, too, though. We should do a, a series. A we segment, should. Something. Like there was one that it was a a dad and his two kids, his daughter and his son, and had a trap door, and the daughter would invite the boarders in and would talk to them, find out who knew that, where they were and how they were going to get there. And mm -hmm. if she felt like they couldn't be traced to them open gave him a sedative kind of thing opened mm -hmm. a hatch he fell to the floor and they robbed him and killed him and like all sorts of interesting there were lots of people who ran boarding houses like that for elderly or mm -hmm. um, people who had no families and would kill them keep collecting the social security or um, yeah. after that was started or would yeah. take out an insurance policy on them and collect that 12 pounds or keep going. The things people will do. I know. It's kind of creepy. I know it. But that was just malicious. Right. Like Julia Tafana saw a problem that couldn't be solved any other way. Any other way. It's not like they could petition the I'm government. Sure, yeah. There was no suffrage movement at this no. time. There you was know, desperate times and yeah. all that. Yeah. I mean, there was forced marriages or arranged marriages and young marriages because you are parents are financially responsible for you, and they had fifteen other kids and. Right. <laughs> And so we got to get you married off young, and we yeah. can't have you being a spinster and there's no unmarried in your twenties, and so yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, but I get it. I get it. I know it. But I mean, maybe we could have started some kind of movement to have women's rights started instead of killing off men but whatever do what you got to do okay do what you got to do <laughs> i think that's how we go with it she didn't actually kill anybody but she did she made she sold a perfume no she sold a perfume it's called poison it's called aqua tefana poison <laughs> No. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tafana was her last name, and aqua means water. I know aqua means water. She sold... Tafana. Poison water. Tafana was just her last name. No. It doesn't mean poison. It does, too. It does. It is synonymous with it now. It is now. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, it didn't. It was just her last name. Right. Gotcha. No, she sold a perfume, and poison. if it accidentally made its way into some poor man's soup... That is not her fault. She didn't put it in there. 
<sighs> okay. All right, we'll let you have it. It was wrong for the women who did it just for the sole purpose of knocking somebody off and getting some money. <clears throat> but those cases were few and far between. Mostly it was brutality. Mostly it was one of us is going to die here and uh -huh. I'd rather it be you than me. Right. Right. I'm not the bad guy in this right. scenario. So let's get rid of you. Yep. Okay. So, no, I don't think she's the asshole. She didn't actually poison anybody herself. She did sold she, perfume. Did she, did she know they were going to poison people with her poison? Oh, yeah. It was the sole uh, purpose of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. But, I mean, essentially she sold perfume. And poison. If somebody chose, somebody comes to her and is like, yeah, I have a horrible husband. She's, Here's some perfume. It might help. It might Maybe help. he thinks you stink. So and they put were it like, in the soup. <laughs> I think his breast stinks. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. And yeah. oh, shoot, he died. He died. He died. Yeah, of of perfume did. poisoning. Of perfume poisoning. Yeah, not poison poisoning. No, I think it was. And again, I'm going to say she did not poison anybody herself. She might have. Perhaps. She might have. I mean, you don't know. You're right, I don't know. From what I do know, mm -hmm. she didn't poison anybody herself. She sold perfume. And with poison. With St. Nicholas on it. And poison. She didn't sell anything as poison. I bet she did. She sold it as perfume. They had an understanding. There was a secret handshake about it. Right. But the words were never said. I'll bet not. I bet we didn't say it out loud, and did we? And she had an antidote. If For your the husband accidentally drinks your perfume, oh. you should probably give him some of this. Okay. <laughs> and then all these women were like, you know, I think he's smart enough not to drink my perfume, so I don't want to buy that. And then the man was stupid and drank the perfume. <laughs> that when is nobody's when it's fault. it's mixed into his soup and his cheeseburger. That is nobody's fault. But the man's. He shouldn't have drank the perfume off the, off the table. Exactly. I bet it tasted great. I mean, she. That's had, probably what it was. Maybe. He I couldn't sure. help himself. Arsenic lead and belladonna all mixed together has a wonderful taste and smell. Odorless. I'm sure. And tasteless. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he really thought it was water. Maybe he didn't in that pretty little <laughs> bottle. It's called aqua tifana. Poison. It is water tifana. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not the asshole. <sighs> well, I don't think she's the asshole either. Okay. Even though she killed people. She did it. She did too. She did it. She did too. She did too. She provided a perfume. That other people We're going to run out of freaking time if you keep people. going on with the perfume. Don't drink the perfume. Don't well, drink no the shit. Perfume. Don't drink the poison either. It's a bad idea. If it, if apparently so. It'll get you hung. It will. Yes, indeed. It'll get you dead and your wife hung. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that all we got? That's all we got. Okay. <laughs> Come back on Saturdays for Am I the Asshole and Tuesdays for Superstitions. And Carol. Carol. What about Carol? She's cute. She Aww. thinks. She thinks that people were poisoned. They were. <laughs> Carol's smart. Carol's not cute. Come listen to Carol talk about people being poisoned. <laughs> Whatever that was. Okay. Come back and see us next time. Please do. She loves you. I do. I have a fondness. She does.